But uh, if you're not having a great day, like I am right now, <laughs> because everything I have planned has gone awry. But you know what? I want to end this on a high note. I was looking around my studio and I saw a bunch of stuff that I use every single day that did not cost me a lot. And I thought it'd be really fun to share these things with you because who doesn't love a great bargain? Hey everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day today. I'm gonna cross my legs right here. Oh, Ooh. baby is just, yes, we're, this is a situation right here. I may publish this before the baby is due, or I may just save this until afterwards. I, I really don't know. Editing Katie here, so yes, it is. Uh, it's, I've had the baby. <laughs> She's right there. With so much on the market today, you often see pricey music products that reinvent the wheel. So here are some everyday accessories that I use in my music studio that won't break your budget. All of the products featured in this video, I purchased myself and this video is not sponsored. Number one are these little spice containers right here. I think I purchased these two for a dollar at a craft store. I think it was Michael's. And yeah, they are supposed to hold crafts and pins and things like that or spices. And then you can bloop, stick them to the side of your refrigerator. They are magnetic on the other side. I love storage solutions and things where they're just out of the way. And you could put literally anything in here. I like to use these for guitar picks. Also for SD cards as well, or maybe even little adapters. It's like that. And you can organize them if you even want color coat them. I believe they come in different colors, which that really speaks to my heart right there. But really convenient. You can see through the little window. Doesn't cost a lot. Great organizational solution. Next, we have the Pen Pal. These come in little packs. I think came in a pack of three. And then I stick this on the side of my music stands. You know, if like the pencil is on the music stand and it slides off, it's really annoying. But having this, I when I um taught even my small group lessons, each stand, music stand, had one of these things in the back. So if my students needed to write something down, all they had to do was whoop, reach behind and then write it down and then they'd put it back. Next on the list, we have these three M hooks. You can use these for just about anything. And what I did is that I would take this little three M hook, I would actually stick it to the side of my amps. And that is where I would hang my chords. So when I was teaching electric guitar lessons, then the chords were always wrapped up nicely and they were bound really nicely and they just hung whoop right on the side of the amp. You never had to search for anything. They never came unraveled because I used these little Velcro things right here. <laughs> these little cord uh, wraps. When your cord is tangled, it's really frustrating. I don't know, for me, that just brings me a lot of anxiety. And plus, when you don't wrap your cord properly, if you wrap it around your arm this way, you're actually breaking it. Don't do that. Learn how to wrap your cord properly, please. There's a nice natural bend to an audio cable. You don't wanna treat it like an electrical cable. You wanna treat it gingerly and so that it lasts longer. It really does. It really does last long, longer when you're able to treat it well. So when the cord is wrapped right here, here this little loop, doo -doo -doo, boop, you wrap your cord accordingly, no pun intended, and then you just wrap it around, coil it, and then I hang it on that 3M hook that I had described earlier. Here we go. Here's the box. <laughs> so this is, if my face-to-face -face students, you know this box very, very well. This holds my cord stamps. I used to write these out by hand until one of my students said, hey, you know, my old teacher, because he came from a different teacher, uh, my old teacher has this little cord stamp and you just uh, hit a little ink pad and went boop, and then he wrote the little dots. And I thought, oh my goodness, they make those? What? And so this was probably about uh, eight years ago and I purchased an ukulele one and then a guitar one. And I believe this one was about $4 and this one was $6 at the time. The prices may have changed. But I, when I teach and I'm teaching in person, I use these every single day. And so did my students too. So then I would 
give them a chord chart and then say, okay, look at some of the chords. Do you recognize any of them or do you not recognize any of them? And I take this little ink pad that I got at a craft store and stamp out the, the chord stamps right in the little dots and there they had it. And so they had something just personalized or if um, I wanted to personalize a chord chart that didn't have the actual diagrams above it, I use these. These are such a time saver. If you wanted to like write out your own chords on the side of a chord chart that you find online that doesn't have the diagrams, these are fantastic. Now, when I'm changing my strings, I do have something here from Music Nomad. It is a thick pad and it's meant to just be a nice guitar, ukulele instrument mat, so that it doesn't scratch the table, your instrument doesn't get damaged, doesn't scratch your instrument. Something that is a cheaper solution that I think works just as well is a yoga mat. And there's so much more surface area with this. So you could really lay this out on your table. You could have a little neck cradle if you wanted to or not. And it's just going to protect your guitar or your instrument that much more. You don't hear that ding, ding. Oh, gosh, that makes me cringe. And last but not least, I have my ukulele stand. It's a string swing stand that I purchased and it goes on your music stand. Now make sure that your music stand is nice and sturdy. This will, um, if your instrument is heavier <laughs> on the heavier side and your music stand is one of those flimsy foldable ones, this is not, this is not going to work very well. At least I don't think so. So this is a string swing ukulele stand. Yes, they also make violin stands. And so just make sure that you read that it's the right stand because if it's the violin stand, this one is going to be, this portion right here is going to be thinner and there's going to be a little spot for your bow. <laughs> yeah, it won't fit the ukulele neck, just to let you know. But I do use this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot in my studio. I want to know some of the things that you use daily in the comments section below because it's really nice just to see you know, what you're using, how it's helping you, <laughs> what's your best bargain find. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe, hit the like button. They let me know that you like these videos and you'd like to see more. I feel better already talking about things that make me happy, that are useful, that I have definitely got my money's worth. <laughs> okay. All right. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye. And there's somebody that is... Yep, that's the water, so <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs>